Hey, what's up? Hello, yeah. Welcome back to the Complicated Entertainment channel. If you're new here, welcome. Let's go ahead and get right into today's video. Be sure to subscribe to the backup channel just in case, okay? Let's go ahead and get right into it. Okay, so first things first, let's get into this um, ongoing speculation that Nicki Minaj is going to be hopping on the Area Codes remix, okay? Um, I got those different Area Codes. Yeah, that song, okay? Um, now, as you all know, Nikki has been hopping on features lately, and it would not be a surprise if she gets on another one. And the speculation is that she's going to be on this song. Now, would I like her on this song? Of course I would. I feel like she rides any beat, so it wouldn't be hard for her to get on this song. Um, but... I don't think she's doing too many features because she's doing what she wants to do right now uh, because she's about to launch her album. And typically before she launches her album, she goes on a feature run and gets all her little features out then. And then she drops her album. Now, um, I would like this song. I really would like it. I like the original song. The original song is already catchy. It's already fun. Now, just imagine what it would do if Nicki hops on it and she adds her own little spin on it, okay? How do y'all feel about that? Let me know your opinions down below in the comment section. I would not mind her getting on this song at all, okay? Let me know down below. Let's move on into this next topic, okay? All right, all right, all right, y'all. It seems like Summer Walker is upset because she feels like she is being played by the Grammys, okay? After not being nominated despite her success, all right? She says, honestly, both albums over it and still over it really did the numbers. I don't know. I feel like I got played. The numbers was there. The fans were there. When I pop out for a show, so out every time, okay? Now, as you all know, the Grammys are always on some BS, aka the Scammies. And um, am I shocked that Summer Walker does not have a Grammy? Not at all. I'm not shocked at all. First of all, Summer Walker, you make music for the urban black community. The Grammys does not give a F flying frick about what we have going on in our community. So that right there alone you should not be shocked at all and summer walker does not make grammy worthy music now i'm not saying summer walker makes bad music i'm not saying that at all because grammy worthy is adele molly cyrus tay tay swift um you know and they throw in a little bit of a black here and there just so they don't seem racist but genuinely they don't give an f about what we have going on so summer walker makes music you know aimed towards the black community you know our color skin so i'm not saying that everybody who listens to her is black but she aims towards you know what our community is and i'm not shocked she doesn't have no grammy I'm, I, I don't think she's ever going to get one unless she features on a pop song with a white artist or something like that. Or if she gets lucky, okay, because typically if you're black and you have a Grammy, you're getting lucky most of the time or you're just catering towards the Grammy committee, period. We all know how the scammies work. We just know how they work, okay? So how do you feel about that? Do you all feel like Summer Walker deserves a Grammy? Like I just said again, I'm not surprised she does not have one um, at all. I'm not surprised at all and I'm just not. Um, but yes, y'all, let me know your opinions it's down below in the comment section. Maybe I'm tripping, maybe I'm being delusional, and maybe it's not a race thing. Let me know your opinion down below in the comment section. We can talk about that. But until then, let's move on, okay? Well, 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 it seems like Beyonce and Destiny's Child may be coming back for one last project, okay? This was recently discussed by Matthew Knowles, aka Beyonce's father, all right? Let's go ahead and get into that, okay? All right, y'all, Matthew Knowles, Beyonce's father and Destiny's Child's previous manager reveals he wants the group to release one last album, but that decision should come from them. Now, I wouldn't mind one last album from Destiny's Child. Destiny's Child is literally one of the biggest, iconic, most iconic girl group of all time, okay? Um, and I would love that. But how do I feel about that in 2023? I don't know, okay? I feel like they kind of just grew into their own individual self at this point that I don't know how a Destiny's Child album in 2023 would sound. I'm not saying it would sound bad, but I just don't know how I feel about that. Um, yeah, okay? And honestly, I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't know how I feel about Michelle hopping on a Destiny's Child album only because Michelle, she just don't be doing it for me like that. I'm sorry. She just don't be doing it for me like that. I understand. I know. I know. But in a world full of Kelly, Michelle's, and Beyonce's, the Michelle's don't do it for me. Um, but I would definitely love to see Kelly and Beyonce come together and make, make an album. That would be that would be cool. Something cute. Okay, I can definitely see that. And it's no shade to Michelle at all, y'all. I promise it's not. But, you know, she just does not really 
I don't know. She don't give me that energy that I need for Destiny Child. Come back. I'm sorry. If you're going to give Destiny Child, babe, you got to give Destiny Child. And you can't give Destiny's grandchild. And I feel like that's what Michelle's will give me, okay? Just ruining the shit, okay? I'm sorry. Um, I don't mean to slander her name like that, but I'm just saying, okay? But yeah, y'all, how do y'all feel about that? Let me know your opinions down below in the comment section. We can go ahead and discuss that, y'all. Um, Destiny's Child is definitely that group. So, hey, maybe we might get it. Maybe we might not. We don't know. Let me know your opinions down below in the comment section, y'all. Let's move on into this next topic. Uh-oh. Moving on, y'all. Moving on. It seems like the Barb's are worried that Nicki Minaj is going to be sabotaged by Travis Scott again after he released a snippet that sounds like it may be a hit and it has a big feature on it. And the song is featuring Bad Bunny, okay? Now, Bad Bunny's a big artist, okay? And um, as you all know, back in 2018, Travis Scott did some shady mess by selling merch bundles with his album to beat Nicki Minaj on the Billboard 200 chart so, she, so that she could be number two and he could be number one, okay? And um, that is where all of this PTSD is coming from, okay? Um, they think that Travis Scott is going to drop an album this year and um, it's going to sabotage Nicki. Okay, now in my opinion, y'all, I'm not going to lie to you. There is no damn demand for Travis Scott in 2023. I'm sorry. It's just not, okay? But there is demand for Nicki. Nicki Minaj is in demand, okay? You know why? Because Nicki Minaj cares for her fans, all right? Unlike Travis Scott. Now, that whole situation behind Travis Scott and the little situation, you know, I'm not going to get into it. You know, we on YouTube and they be playing games. Yeah, that thing at the concert... That has tainted his image a lot, and it has tainted his success. Um, I don't think Travis Scott will ever be as successful as he was back in the day after that event. I'm sorry. So I think this time around, even if Nicki and Travis were to release the albums at the same time, Nicki's going to go number one, okay? Nicki's going to go number one. Um, the relationship that she has with her fans versus Travis has with his fans, I mean, they both have strong fan bases. Don't get me wrong. Um, but, you know, people... People come out alive after Nicki Minaj's concerts, and that's no shade at all. And that's no shade at all. Um, RIP to the victims of the Travis Scott concert. But I'm just saying, y'all, it's just, I don't think that um, Travis is going to be, you know, sabotaging Nicki in any type of way. But that's just my opinion on that, y'all. Um, I guess this song with Bad Bunny may be a big song. I don't know, but I don't think it's going to translate to Travis Scott um, having high album sales or anything like that. Um, and that's just my opinion on that, y'all. How do you feel about it? If they were both to release an album at the same time, who do you think would go number one, Travis or Nicki? Let me know your opinions down below in the comment section. We can go ahead and discuss that, y'all. But until then, let's move on into this next topic, okay? All right, child, we got some good news, okay? It seems like The Little Mermaid has grossed over $200 million at the box office with less than a week of being out. To be specific, it's been less than five days, um, less than four days, for real, for real. Um, and this movie is going crazy, y'all. This movie is going insane. It's one of the top five releases of this year um in the box office which is just crazy it's amazing to see um i'm so proud of hallie i've been saying this for a while i'm just so proud of her you know all the backlash she's getting all the backlash that she has gotten since 2019 is all paying off it's all been worth it and it's just amazing to see her in this light um the chloe and hallie brand are going to be glowing up they're going to be going up um, I can't wait to see them come back and make their music again. Their projects are going to be doing numbers. They're going to be into this new stardom. Um, and yeah, but I'm really just glad that Hallie is breaking barriers for black, um, you know, actors and actresses to be able to be in this position. Okay. It's amazing to see. She looks gorgeous in this movie. Like she looks so like angelic. It's just really amazing. I'm so proud of her y'all. Um, but yes, y'all, how do y'all feel about that? $200 million is definitely a good look. And let's move on to this next topic. Okay. Well, 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 it seems like SZA and Cardi B have a new collab coming out. All right. Now, you know, this is interesting to see. All right, you know, SZA's having a great moment, a great time right now on the charts, sold out tours, just getting that coin, getting that success, okay? And honestly, if this is true, all right, this is not a good look for SZA, okay? I just feel like a, a Cardi B collab in 2023 with SZA, it's not cutting it for me, baby, okay? It's going to ruin her momentum, 
We don't need Cardi B and SZA on the same song, okay? If anything, Cardi B needs a SZA feature now in 2023. You see how the tables turn? Um, yeah, they had a collab back in 2018 when they released the Invasion of Privacy album. Um, SZA was featured on Cardi B's album. Um, but now, I don't want that. I don't want that at all. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's not a good look for SZA. It's not a good look for SZA. Um... Now, in my opinion, though, if they released it, would it do numbers? Maybe. It could do a little bit, you know, numbers. Maybe a top 30 hit. I don't know. But as of right now, mm-mm. Get somebody else to do it, SZA. Uh-uh. I don't want this for you, okay? Um, but she's been having a great year, y'all. So, I don't know. Maybe this may be a good thing to help Cardi B get back on her feet, okay? Maybe Cardi B going to use some of that SZA clout, okay, to hop on back into the charts and back into the mainstream media market because Cardi B is not really in the mainstream anymore. She's, like, understream. Like, she's, like, underground pipe stream. Like, she's not even, like, making noise with music. And it's kind of embarrassing. It's kind of sad. You know, it's almost like she's not really... I don't know. Maybe she won't get back to where she needs to be at. Maybe she has a chance soon with her next album. We're going to see. But a Sizzle and Cardi B collab. No, 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 no. Moving on, moving on, y'all. It seems like Megan Thee Stallion has a new man, okay? Now, it was rumored a few weeks ago that um, Party and Megan have filed out and they've unfollowed each other. And that is what I reported a, a few videos back. You guys scroll down. But um, that's what it was reported, okay? And now we see her sitting at a new table with a new man, okay? Now, it seems like Megan is more passed around than the bread rolls at the dinner table. I'm sorry. Um, that is what people are saying. That is what people are saying. That is what people are saying. Um, but I'm all here for people doing what they want to do. Okay, you can do what you want to do. You can be who you want to be. Date who you want to date. F who you want to F. That's fine. Okay, that's fine. But people are speculating and saying that that is just what it seems like. It seems like she's just hopping from D to D. Um, but honestly, though, if you're not happy in your relationship, you can move on. You can leave. I don't understand why that's a big problem. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, men, they hop around. They don't get backlash for it as much. You know what I'm saying? They don't get backlash unless you're in the canon. But yeah, apparently she got a new man. Apparently she loves him, allegedly. And apparently they looked happy, okay? Now, what are y'all opinions on that? Let me know your opinions down below in the comment section, y'all. But until then, let's move on into this next topic, okay? Child, it seems like Ice Spice and Taylor Swift, okay, are performing again for the third time on stage. They have performed over three times, okay, together. Um, Taylor Swift has bought her out three times. Now, this collab is so random to me. I don't know. It's just so damn random. And I can't really wrap my head around the fact that Ice Spice and Taylor Swift are collabing. Um, but that's that, okay? But it seems like Ice Spice is about to get her third top 10 hit with Karma featuring Taylor Swift. Well, Karma, Taylor Swift featuring Ice Spice, okay? But yeah, I like that for her. I do love that for her. Um, it's pretty cool to see that Ice Spice is up here getting these chart placements like crazy. Um, I don't think there's any other new girl right now that's doing that. I mean, nobody, I can't, nobody else is doing this right now. Um, nobody. But I really do want Ice Spice to release her album soon just so she can keep up this flame and this fire under her ass because I feel like she needs to drop the album. You know, she got the features out. She got the, the um, co-signs, Nicki co-signs, Beyonce co-signs, Taylor Swift co-signs, Drake co-signs. She getting all these damn co-signs, baby. Let's co-sign that album. Let's produce that album. Let's you know, make that album pop. You know what I'm saying? Forget a deluxe of her EP. I don't want that. I don't want a deluxe of your EP. I want an Ice Spice album. And then we're going to decide where she's going moving forward, okay? Um, yeah. But right now, it seems like she's here to stay. But you never know. But once that album comes out, it tells you all you need to know about a person's career, okay? That's my opinion on that, y'all. How do y'all feel about that? Let me know your opinions down below in the comment section. We can go ahead and discuss that down below in the comment sections. And yes, y'all, be safe. I will see you all in the next one. <laughs>